guys welcome back to my channel my name is natalia if you're new here welcome welcome it's lovely to see you and if you're coming back thank you so much for coming again and visiting my channel today i have an unboxing from diamond art club it's one of the newer releases from them and i got really excited when i saw this painting um being released uh, i straight away knew i had to have it and uh, I have no self-control, so, <laughs> so I was basically waiting um, for my payday and, and um, I was trying, well, I was waiting also for, for some sale and, and there was an option to get 20% off uh, if you use the app. Uh, so I did that and um, so I, I have my my painting here, um, which I shouldn't, really shouldn't be buying. Uh, I have way too many paintings and this is a big one, guys. So, so really, um, yes, <laughs> no self-control, but I'm really happy to have received it. I received it just a couple of days ago, so I actually ordered it a week ago. Uh, so it was Saturday and it arrived on... It arrived on Wednesday evening, I think. It arrived very, very quickly. I was actually really surprised um, because normally I have to wait for a long time for my Diamond Art Clubs. Um, ever since Brexit, anyway, uh, they seem to be getting stuck in customs. Uh, but this one just arrived um, after a few days. So I'm in the UK. Um, I know I should have said that before. And in case you didn't know that, I'm in the UK. Um, and recently Diamond Art Club uh, have uh, said that, um, well, they, they basically cancelled um, free shipping. Uh, so we used to have free shipping to UK if you, if you paid, I think, um, oh, I can't remember the exact amount, but if you paid, if you spend enough money, you got free shipping. Now you can't get free shipping anymore. And in the UK, we also get taxed, uh, we get 20% taxed on every painting. Uh, I think that's to cover the custom fees uh, because I, I actually haven't had to pay any custom fees on any of my, of my Diamond Art Clubs and since Brexit uh, they started charging me 20% extra on every painting. Uh, so now also to add the shipping on top of that, Diamond Art Club is becoming uh, less and less affordable for us here in the UK unfortunately. Um, but every now and then you know, I'm still going to buy from them, uh, definitely less than before. Um, I have some points that I can use as well, so I'm kind of waiting um, to see if there's any painting that I really want to buy. There's one that I'm waiting to come back in stock actually, and I think I may spend my points on that one, but we will see, we will see what gets released as well. Uh, but I ordered this one anyway, and today we can unbox this one together. Uh, so as you can see, it's got the blue blue line around it, and it's it's got the square square here, and it tells you that it's square diamonds. So this particular one is in square diamonds, and well, I I took already the plastic, so it comes in this plastic wrapping, uh, but I took it off because I think it's too boring for you guys to watch me take it off. Uh, so um, I'm just going to well, I'm just going to show you, or should I? Yeah, I think I'll just show you which one it is. So. <laughs> So it's this um, majestic ship. Um, so it's a new release. I think it only came came. In, I don't know. Maybe it was released two or three weeks ago. I'm not sure. Uh, and it's a big one. Uh, so it's 98 by 70. Uh, so it's a very big painting, uh, but it's beautiful, and I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, seeing it. So so let's go for it. Let's unbox it. Um, so I'm sure you've seen lots of Diamond Art Club unboxings, but if in case you haven't, uh, I'm just going to go through the toolkit and just show you how everything is packaged. Okay, so so the so the canvas comes in this uh, plastic. Um, kind of wrapping uh, with the Diamond Art Club logo and their um, uh, what do you call this thing? Do what makes you sparkle is it's like their Oh, what's the English word for this? Um, <laughs> their motto or, or whatever you want to call this, but they always say on all the, on their canvases, they say, do what makes you sparkle. Um, and they come with a little sticker as well that you can put on your box. If you store your boxes sideways, you stack them up, you can put that on the side. Uh, I should really start doing that because I have a big stack of boxes and I never know which one is which. Uh, so I should really put that on the side of my box actually. And then you get a toolkit. Uh, because it's a square, um, the toolkit will include tweezers. So the round toolkits don't include tweezers, they're square toolkits do. It's these pointy tweezers that, um, well, I get you get them with most kind of high quality companies. Um, so they're quite sharp, um, if you take this bit off, um, they're quite sharp, but they're very good for picking squares. 
and for fixing them in case they're not evenly distributed on the canvas. So, so I use them quite a lot with my square canvases. And then we get a kind of basic pen, just the usual. Uh, you get a tray, so you get transparent trays with Diamond Art Club. Um, they're kind of their signature, I guess. Personally, I don't use these. Uh, I find that my drills get stuck in them uh, and they're not easy to take out. So I don't actually use these trays. Um, I prefer the white ones. And then we get two heart shaped waxes. So they're just pink wax, um, just the usual as well, uh, but they're very cute, heart shaped. Um, we, get, we get a lot of buggies, a lot of buggies. And uh, we get a squishy to go on your pen. Yes, yeah, so you can put that on and that will like make it more comfortable for you to hold it. Yeah, like that. And then we also get a multi-placer. So it's a four-placer. With Diamond Art Club, you always get a four-placer. And it's one of these narrow ones. So let me see. So it's one of the, these narrow ones where um, but you, can, you can also get wider ones with some cheaper companies, but they're usually not, not very good. And these narrow ones are better to use, uh, much easier to use. Okay, so I'm just going to put this all back here. Um, so it's just a kind of standard toolkit, but it's, it's a good quality toolkit overall. Um, although I don't, I don't like these trays personally. Okay. Um, so, okay, the, now the exciting part. So the exciting part is the painting itself, of course, and the drills. Uh, I think it's got four ABs. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure. I think this is what I remember. So it's a big one. So I don't think I'll actually be able to fit it all in my um in my camera, well, or on my table even. My table is not big enough for this. Um so I may need to record record a little tour of the canvas to include at the end of this video. Whoa, that's a lot of drills. <laughs> that's so many. Oh my goodness, that, that is a lot of drills, guys. Look at that. That is so heavy. Wow, okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> so inside the canvas, you get the drills and you get also, well, you get this little guide on to how, how to diamond paint and, and um, just a thank you note and you get, a, you get a code there as well, a discount code. So you can use that. Um, and then we have this, um, well, the, the good thing is that they do, so it's like the, the legend, but it's actually a sticker. So, you, and, and they're now individual stickers. So every, every one of them, every color, uh, with every symbol, you can, uh, just peel it off and put it on your container. Uh, and so, uh, it's very nice and easy to kit up, uh, with this kind of legend. And as you can see, the symbols are very clear. Uh, so they're very nice and clear to read. Um, yeah, so I, I really like that they include this. It just makes the kitting up so much easier. And this is the, the picture of what the painting will look like. So it's a pretty one, right? I, I love this one. It's, it's so, oh, it's, I, don't, I, I really, I really like it. Um, I like, well, I like the sea. Definitely I like the sea. But this one actually makes me think of a novel that I used to really, really like. And I started recently uh, listening to it as as, as, as audiobook. Um, so it's uh, the Count of Monte Cristo, and he was a sailor, and uh, and and then I don't know. There's this like island that looks like Mediterranean kind of um, island with a castle on top, and it, it just makes me think of that novel. And I read it when I was uh, still very young, and I don't know. It's very dreamy this painting, and I don't know. I really like it. Uh, so here you can also put a start date uh, and end date, or when you started working on this. I never really do it, um, but you can, especially if you have a diary, you can like. Uh, I think this is also a sticker, so you can, is it? I don't know, actually, I think, or maybe it's not. Um, yeah, but you can cut it out and you can put it in your diary anyway. Okay, Ooh, my stickers are peeling off. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> right, okay. So I'll just put them back like this. Okay, so now we have the canvas. Um, so I'll just put the drills aside just for the time being. We'll come back to them. So the Diamond Art Club canvases come with this, this soft backing. Um, though I don't know, this this is strange. May, maybe I forgot. You know what? It's been a while since I've worked on Diamond Art Club, but this feels different to, to in the past. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Have they changed something? It does not feel as soft as it used to. 
maybe I've forgotten, you know what, man? Maybe, maybe this is what it always felt like. It's just maybe when I first ever tried them on Art Club, it felt softer. I don't know. Uh, it's still soft in the back. It's still soft in the back. Um, and it's, um, it's a really nice canvas for like, uh, it flattens itself. So you don't really have to do anything. Like you don't have to store it under the mattress or anything. Um, like if you just lay it down, um, basically it will flatten itself out. Um, yeah, so basically like all, all of these creases will go go away by themselves and you don't really even have to like roll it back, like the edges will just like be flat, which is really, really nice. But okay, okay, <laughs> now I'm going to show you, well, part of the painting and then I'm going to do a tour of the painting after that. Um, <laughs> because, well, it's huge, <laughs> guys, it's really, really massive. Okay, okay, one, two, three, <laughs> ta-da! Wow, okay, okay, I'll show you this part for now. We can, well, we, yeah, I'll, well, I'll do. I'll stop the camera on this part, and then here, I will insert a clip of, um, of, a, of the whole canvas. So basically, I'll give you a tour of the canvas with some music in the background, okay? So I'll insert that here. <laughs> So hopefully now you've seen you've seen the clip and you've seen the whole canvas and and you can see how gorgeous it is because it is it is so beautiful. Um oh I'm so glad guys I ordered it. I was going back and forth um for a couple of weeks um ever since it was released I was going back and forth should I order it should I not order it and I honestly thought this would sell out when it was released. Um, I, and I usually, I, I don't do the chase of like trying to get the painting right on the release date. I just, you know, wait when it comes back to stock because I'm not in a rush to get it. You know, I can wait for the next release. Um, and, and I was just expecting, oh, you know, this will sell out straight away um, when it's released. Uh, so I'll just wait for it to come back to stock. But then it didn't sell out. And like two weeks later, it was still in stock. And, and every day I was going on the website like, oh, should I order it? Should I not order it? I guess it's a big one, so it's quite expensive. Um, I can't remember the exact price, uh, but I'll link the link the painting um, below uh, below the video, so you can uh, follow the link and have a look yourself. Um, but yeah, it's one of the more expensive ones. Um, but now I'm really, really glad I ordered it because it's just gorgeous. And I was actually thinking about working on it and listening to the audiobook. You know, it would be so nice. Yeah, I may do that. <laughs> yeah, so. Um, right, so well, we should we should um, I don't know we we should we should keep going with the unboxing. Sorry, I I'm still staring at the painting. I I can't like um, take my eyes off it. I'm I'm just still admiring it. But 
hopefully when I did my tour of the canvas, you, you had a glimpse of the symbol so you could see how clear they were. Um, I'm just having another look, look here myself. Uh, so you can see, for example, here, which is more of a darker area, the darker symbols are printed mostly in white. Uh, so if the background is dark, um, the symbol itself is white. So as you can see, they, they're very, very clear. But I think Diamond Art Club is, is very famous for, for the clarity of their symbols, right? They, they, I don't think I've ever had an issue with their symbols not being clear to read. Um, and also, generally, they're very easy to distinguish uh, from one another. So, yeah, I can actually, it's a very bright painting. There aren't very many dark areas, and usually it's the darker symbols that are more troublesome. Although in my current whip, I noticed that it's actually the lighter symbols that I'm struggling with because they print it on white. Well, they print it in white ink, but on light background, so I can't actually see it. But that's not from the AC, so and that's another company. So I don't think that it's going to be an issue here. Oh, it's so beautiful, isn't it? The sky. It's gorgeous. Um, honestly, I don't think there'll be any issues at all with the symbols. Um, so let's go, let's have a look at the colors. Um, you know, what the legend is like and what the drills are like and if we have any AVs as well. So as I showed you before the legend, we have 65 colors total. And in Diamond Art Club, um, we have basically the, the colors are below 150 uh, DMC number or color code here. The ones that are below 150 are ABs. So ABs are the diamonds that have a special coating on them. And that coating gives them that iridescent kind of um, glow. Uh, so they basically they sparkle more and they make um, the other diamonds that are around them, well, they will also sparkle more. Uh, so as you can see here, we have four colors that are below 150. So we have 129, 133, 135 and 138. So we're going to have a look at what they are, what colors they are, they are, and we'll try to find some of the places that they go. Uh, I may not be able to spot all of them because it's such a massive canvas, but we can have a look, um, you know, more or less to know where they're going. Okay, so, so this massive packet of, of drills, <laughs> oh my goodness, and they've got the number and the name of the painting on here, which is very helpful if you want to store your drills separately. Uh, from the canvas. I may need to start doing that because I have so many boxes. I literally have a massive stack of boxes in my room and I'm thinking I need to probably start um, taking them out of the boxes because they take less space that way. So I may start doing that soon. Oh, they've changed their... It's been a while since I've ordered... No, to be fair, it's not been a while. It's just it's a while since I actually unboxed. Um, I have some paintings that I ordered and I received. I haven't even taken out of the box yet. Um, but it's been a while since I unboxed the Diamond Art Club and I didn't know that they've changed their printing on their on their drills. I think it used to be much harder to read because I don't think they used to have that silver stripe and I think I struggled a little bit to see the number. Uh, so this is much better. This is an improvement and definitely that the printing is now on the silver stripe. So these come in these chains. Um, and I don't know if they've changed anything. Let me just have a look. Um, so they, I think they're still pa they're still uh, packaged in order of weight. So kind of how many diamonds you have, and uh, the heaviest ones will come, or, or the the most diamonds will come at the front, and then you have the less, the less, the less, and so on. And then you have at the end you have these little ones where you just have a few diamonds. Um, so they're packed, they're ordered by weights, um, which personally I don't like. Because for me, uh, especially that they're in chain as well, so you have to like cut them all up separately if you want to kit them up. And then they're not in order of numbers, and I kit up in order of numbers uh, rather than how many diamonds I have of each color. So then I have to cut all these separately, and then I have to order them in numbers. And for painting of this size, it's just a bit of a pain, a bit of fuff to have to do that. Uh, so I much prefer when companies put their drills in order of numbering. And also, I prefer when they're not all attached to each other like this, because it's just it's another step, you have to like, cut them up. Uh, but that would be fine, because I think Dreamer Designs do this do similar thing. They also have these chains, but they have them in order of, um, of numbers, um, so that's much easier. 
uh, because then you just cut it up and, and do it in order. But when you have it like that, it's just a pain to, to put them in order. So personally, I don't like this. Um, but of course, I do love them on Art Club. <laughs> so it's just, it's not that I don't like the company. It's just I wish they had they, they were doing this differently. But then some other people may prefer this. Uh, so of course, we're all different. And it's just my personal opinion on this and how I depending on how I keep up and how I like to order my drills, which you may completely disagree with. And if you do, let me know in the comments, you know, what's your opinion on this packaging of drills and do you prefer it different or do you like it this way? Okay, but anyway, we can have a quick look at the color, um, color palette. Uh, so you see, we have some lovely blues. I love this blue actually, 798, it's, it's a beautiful color. I'm um, really, honestly, I love that one. Uh, it's probably gonna go somewhere in the sky. And then we have some other blues. And uh, we have the 3371, which is very close to black. Um, we have this lovely pink. Um, some purple. Lovely purple. Some more blue. And green. And again, blue. So there's a lot, a lot of blues. I'm looking if there's my favorite blue in here. I think I think I can spot it below. I think it's this one. This one's my favorite. No, that's three for free. I like three for free as well. I love three for free. But my favorite is this one. My absolute favorite DMC color is 995. I love it. I love it so much. It's just such a beautiful shade of blue. Okay, but anyway, anyway, let's move on. So sorry for the crinkling. Um I hope that you can still hear me, okay? Um, but we have some more like kind of yellow, this is more kind of brown orange, um, little yellow with some, some random drills in it, some greeny kind of colors, um, brown, let's see, it's, it's mostly, mostly blues with some, some oranges, reds and greens, so you kind of have a bit of everything in here, but the big question is where are the ABs? So, um, <laughs> oh, oh, this one, this one, okay. So this is probably the one that we have most of, it's the 138. It's a lovely, I've, I've had this one before from them. Uh, it's a lovely blue AB. I've actually had this one in rounds and I really enjoyed working with it. And uh, this is this is a square painting, so this is the same color but in squares and I'm, I'm really looking forward uh, to be working with that one. Um, and I will see in a minute where it goes. Um, so then we also have the, uh, this is more kind of orange. I think my camera makes it very, very bright. Uh, if I put a bit further away, maybe it's more, it's kind of a bright orange, orange. So like it's not, it looks more red on my camera, but it's more of an orange color. Uh, and it's probably going to go on this flag. Yeah, exactly. So it's going to go on this flag. There's another flag, a flag at the front of the ship, ship as well. Uh, so it's yeah, we'll see. We'll have a look as well where it goes. Um, then we have we should have two more ABs. So we have one three five, which is um I think my camera it looks a bit yellowish on my camera. It's a more green kind of yeah green slash yellow color. Yeah, it's not quite yellow, but it's not quite green either. Um. So we, we don't have a lot of them, but it's still, you know, still quite a few. And then we have 129, which is this creamy kind of um, beige color. Okay, so let's have a look where these go. Now I've made a big mess of these drills. I'm never going to be able to pack them back. Um, <laughs> but well, <laughs> I'll worry about that after the video. Okay. So... Where do they go? So, so as you see, these are numbers. At least they're always easy to spot on Diamond Art Club uh, canvases because they're always numbered um, with low numbers, like one, two, three, four. Um, so they match the, 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 actually the serial number here. So it's so a one, two, three, four, they match, uh, which is quite nice. Okay, so I can see the two. The two is easy to spot. Um, so it's on all of the flags. These ones here, well, not, not on this one, surprisingly, but on this one as well. Um, and then on the small one that I showed you before, then it's probably, yeah, it's in the ship as well, in the ship itself. Uh, I love it here, 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 and then also, and uh, there's a bit on this flag as well, and on the castle. On the castle we have a bit more as well. I should have said, the legend is also on both sides of the painting, uh, on here and on the other side as well. So. 
you know, as you turn your painting around, you may still be able to see the legend, um, which is quite convenient. And it's very big. The symbols are printed very, very big on the legend, so you can see them very easily. Um, so, okay, so that's number two. Number one is this kind of beige color, and that one will be harder to find, I think. And there weren't very many of it, but I think it's the outline here of the ship down there. So it's kind of going along the ship, not here, not here, not here, not here. So it's not all of the outline, it's just some of it, maybe where the sun is hitting the ship, uh, possibly. Um, and I can't actually see anymore. Maybe that's it. Um, maybe it's somewhere else in the in the sails. Um, I can't actually see it. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, it's a, oh, there's a little bit in the clouds. Me, let me turn this around. So there's a little bit in the clouds here and here. Okay, uh, so it's just kind of scattered through some of the brighter parts, but it's not a lot of it. Um, it's just a few here and there. Then we have number three, which was this green slash yellow. And I think there's only one place that it can go. It's this here. Uh, so where, where there's, you know, where the sun is hitting the, the green grass um, on the on the island here below the castle that we have the freeze. And then the final one was the blue. So the blue was number four, the, the one that I was very excited about. That will probably be in the sky, I expect. Um, so if we just turn around, sorry, I'm, I'm, am I making you dizzy, guys? Um, but if we turn around, we should, well, I can't actually see it. So that would be number four, wouldn't it? Yeah, number four should be, I can't see it. Am I blind? Oh, oh, it's actually not, not where I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, it's not where I thought it was going to be. So here, see between the sails. And also here, kind of also between the, the sails and these um, things. I don't know very much about ships. I just really like them. But I don't know what these things are called. Especially, well, not even in Polish. I, I couldn't tell you in Polish what this is. So, um, yeah, you can tell me if you know the names of, of, of these things on the ship. And then maybe I'll learn something from you guys. Um, yeah, but I can't see. There was quite a lot of the the ABs, so I don't really know. I'm a bit puzzled where they're going. I must be missing like a whole big patch somewhere. Um. Well, there's there's some here. There's some here. Okay, so so they're kind of all clustered together in one space. Um, which I'm not sure if I like. There's also a big big patch of them here. Um. Personally, I prefer when ABs are a bit more scattered um, because I think then they um, they sparkle more when they're they're like more individually between other diamonds. So I don't know if I may try and tweak that a little bit uh, myself. Um, if I may kind of uh, make them a bit more scattered between other colors um, rather than putting one massive patch of them. Um, especially they gave me quite a lot. I think they gave me way too much compared to what I can see on the canvas. So I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I feel like it would be nice to have some in here as well, in the sky. So I don't know if I may, I may play around with the blue ABs a little bit and see if I can add them somewhere. Okay, but basically that's it. Um, I mean, I could measure the canvas for you, but to be honest, I, I think we all know that uh, the AC is true to size, it's true to what they say. Uh, and to be fair, I don't actually care if it is 98 by whatever it was, because I just care about the fact that it's beautiful. It's huge anyway, so a centimeter here or there, I, I really don't care about. <laughs> I don't know if you guys do, um, but but anyway, I, I believe I trust Diamond Art Club um, because I I've, I've know, you know, they're a very well-known company and everybody loves them. Uh, so I'm not going to measure it on this particular occasion. I just wanted to share this unboxing with you because I am very excited about this painting. I hope that you are too. Let me know if you're thinking about ordering ordering it, or maybe you've already ordered it, maybe you're already working on it. I'd love to hear your opinion about this painting and um, you know if you have any other comments about this unboxing or any questions, let me know in the comments. If you like this video, um, please give me a like. I'd love to have the thumbs up from you. Um, and if you, you know, if you liked it enough, you could even subscribe to my channel and, and hit the notification bell to be notified if I post another unboxing or another video. And, um, you know, I'd love to see you back on my channel. I, I love hearing from you guys and, and, you know, it's just, it's just so nice um, to know that you enjoy the videos that I post. Okay. Well, thank you for today. 
Uh, I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye guys.